All right, I want to talk about a player who Lions fans have been sort of asking me to talk about for a minute now, and I kind of said, yeah, maybe sometime, maybe I'll do a deep dive at some point. Finally got around to it, and I can see why Lions fans are very excited about James Houston, a guy who is someone who I bet a lot of people maybe watching this video haven't even heard of. And it would totally be reasonable if you haven't. I mean, the guy was a sixth round pick just this past uh, draft in 2022, uh, you know, out of Jackson State. Uh, you know, not exactly, uh, you know, a, well, a big name at this point, but he could become one as uh, his pass rushing stuff was very good. If you're a PFF fan, you see the PFF grades were great. With the exception of his last year in Green Bay, he had a, a grade above 65 every single game he got some snaps in. Again, not a lot, only 140 snaps, but he had three grades, uh, three games with a grade over 85. And if you look all the way at the bottom, his overall grades, his overall pass rushing grade was 88.2. Two. I mean, I know it's a small sample size, but that's enough to get me interested right away. Uh, the run defense grade, maybe not quite as good, although worth mentioning, just 31 run defense snaps. So, especially small sample size there. So, okay. Uh, I, you know, uh, the PFF grades have piqued my interest. Let's watch some film. What is it about James Houston? Is he just a guy who happened to get lucky and, you know, pull up you know, get some decent uh, snaps. Is he, uh, or is he more than that? Maybe could he be a, especially like a, you know, good third down edge rusher perhaps? Well, let's get into it. Let's start off with the, the play you see on your screen. So let's start off with this play. What's going to happen on this one is he's actually getting some extra attention on this play, which I'm assuming is just, this is just how the Buffalo Bills wanted to run this specific play because they're doing the same thing on both sides of the field, which is they have their halfback on this side of the field going to just chip Houston and slow him down a little bit before he gets towards the tackle, make things easier on a tackle. Okay, you know, eventually the halfback will run around. That's how this play works. As you see, it, you know, it's a fine chip. I don't really have any issue with this. I think it's, you know, does the job of slowing down Houston enough to just allow the tackle to get the hand placement that he wants. You know, give him time to get the hand placement that he, he wants. That's typically what you want to make sure happens. But, the thing you'll notice about Houston is just how explosive he is. He's a small guy. I mean, he's you know he's still 245 pounds, but he's just 6'1". But what he makes up, what maybe he lacks in size and arm length, he makes up for in just uh, sort of twitchiness and explosiveness. Watch him move his hands so quick, the tackle never gets his, the hand placement he wants, and also he's so fast, he gets around the edge so well, he's able to get to Allen and get the sack right there. It's that speed that he really brings to the table, and again, those quick hands that I was really impressed with, and why I really think that, quite frankly, I don't know if he can be a three-down player just due to his, I haven't seen it from the running game just yet, but is he a great like third-down edge rusher? I think he absolutely has that potential, and given you already have someone on the other side in Aiden Hutchinson, who is a pure three-down player, uh, this is great news, as you just need a guy who can, you know, be a good uh, down one and two guy, uh, and, you know, you kind of have that complete uh, edge rushing situation now, potentially, because, like, watch what else he can do. This play is great. This is just a high motor play. You know, I love high motor edge rushers, and that's what's going to happen here. Once again, uh, Devin Singletary, the halfback, going to block him a little bit. Watch him, you know, really, uh, Houston kind of disposes of him pretty quickly, as he should. It's a halfback. You're supposed to win that matchup. Uh, and again, Singletary eventually is going to run his route. So, you know, good stuff here by Houston, but this is not why I'm showing the play. What's interesting is that, again, the tackle, the left tackle here for Buffalo, is relatively in position, but what Houston is going to do is he says, hey, I'm, you know, quick, I'm explosive, I'm going to use that to my advantage. Watch him sidestep the tackle, uh, and then, you know, even though he gets tripped up, still dives out and tackles Allen as he was running away from Houston. So a lot, I mean, you ha he basically had three different guys he had to get through at a certain point to get to the quarterback, but he was still able to pull that kind of thing off. Like, this play is a great example of just what he does that kind of surprises, uh, you know, offensive linemen. Is It's the the speed, the quickness, and how fast he goes, where what's going to happen here is he's going up one-on-one -on -one against the Chicago Bears left tackle. That's what he's doing here. Watch how right when this play begins, you see that explosiveness and how the, you know, you see the left tackle's left hand and how it's kind of, you know, it's not touching anything, right? And the reason is because Houston gets to his spot so quickly, he basically forces you as an offensive lineman to get the hand placement you want so fast, and if you don't, then you're in serious trouble. And there's 
honestly, there are two different ways you could take this. The one way you could take this is like, wow, this is a really tough pass rush move to stop. The obvious other aspect is on running plays, it's going to be a little bit tricky and you're going to get yourself out of position in the running game. And maybe that's just okay. Maybe that's just who Houston is, is he's a player you have to use in a specific way. I think that's fine. As you see, I mean, he's able to, you know, get around the edge and get to Justin Fields for a sack right there. So the fact that he was able to pull off all of these types of plays, despite the fact that he, you know, in so many splash plays, despite the fact that he, again, had just 140 snaps last year. It's just crazy. It's just it's crazy that he was able to to do that kind of thing. I mean, he uh, he ended the season with eight sacks, right? So if you were to do the math and say, well, if, if he uh, averaged that for an a thousand sack season, or excuse me, a thousand sack season, and a thousand snap season, uh, that ratio would give him uh, fifty seven total sacks on the year. Now, again, obviously that's small sample size. A lot easier to get eight sacks and 140 uh, snaps than to get uh, 57 and 1,000. But it just kind of goes to show what he was able to do uh, in in his small sample size and how he was able to make some noise. Now, there was some stuff like this, too, where it's like it's going to be a, a play action on one side of the field. No one's blocking him off of the edge. And you see him just, you know, uh, he's going to rush in, get to the quarterback and get a sack that way. Like there were some plays that kind of he was able to benefit from, which of course is the case. If you had eight sacks and a thousand snaps, there, you're still going to have that kind of situation happen. So like you're going to, you know, every only a certain percentage of, of sacks are legitimately just beating a, you know, tackle one on one and find a way to make stuff happen. Um, the reality is, I don't know what to make of James Houston, because he is such a wild card to me. I do think that there's value in him. I'm not sitting here and saying, like, uh, he could be a bad player and just got lucky. I don't think that's the case. I think there is value in James Houston. I feel pretty comfortable in that already. I don't see him as an 1,000-snap guy. I just don't see that right now. But that's not to say I couldn't see him be that. And again, if you can just get decent at being able to stop the run, and then you're able to be that elite pass rusher, uh, that's definitely something that can get you you know, very excited if you're a Lions fan. We'll see how it works, but as of right now, I mean, again, you know, a, a comparison I, I can think of is Chase Winovich, who was kind of a guy who couldn't really stop the run, but was a really good pass rusher, but he didn't really work out in the NFL. It does happen. But even if James Houston is just a you know pass rush specialist, hey, there's value in that, and he certainly has more potential. And I'm interested in seeing him uh, in a bigger role, what he can do. So yeah, those are my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.